Hello friends, you are watching the Jolly Battle Experiments show. This is one of the most difficult experiments. Before we found the magic formula to make it happen, we were like this and like this and even like this. But we found and revealed the secret and after watching the video to the end, you will learn to move objects with no hands, not with the power of thought, but with the scientific facts. Well, everything is actually very simple. Static electricity helps move objects. So, when the surfaces of two objects rub against one another, their asperities scrape together, creating friction. Scientists have known for a long time that friction plays a role in static electricity. Check that. But how it is formed? The thing is that all objects have a certain electric charge, like this drawer and this table, even me. No, they will not be shocked, but this allows them to exhibit similar properties. Let's take a closer look at all the objects around us that are made up of the smallest particles of an atom. Well, an atom is a positively charged nucleus and a negatively charged electron. It is known that alike charges repel and different or unlike charges attract, while an object is at its rest, like my little balls now, uh, the atoms are neutral. But during friction, electrons can easily move from one atom to another, thereby forming either a positive or a negative charge of the atom. The imbalance of atoms forms static electricity. Now I'm gonna reveal some interesting details. We made this little balls of foil with some foam inside. So in order for the experiment to succeed, we rub all this foils, foils with some foam inside. Like we just pick up a little piece of it, smaller one, and rub it in foil. And in order for this experiment to succeed, we rub them with synthetic material. Then we wait just a couple of seconds. And then everything moves. Now I'm gonna rub them again. And they all move. And here, in this experiment with dancing foil balls, it's enough to rub the plexiglass well and wait for just a couple of seconds, and then that's it. The magic trick is performed successfully. As we have already found out, everything magical has a completely scientific explanation. Well, instead of a stick, for example, you can use a ball, and instead of foil plates, a plastic bag. I've already done this trick. You, you do remember, do you? If you're watching us for the first time, subscribe to be the first to learn new cool tricks. You won't believe me, but they can be easily repeated at home. See you soon.